my father, a, I, really, I don't remember how many generation. Uh, it's only uh, if you ask Jewish, they will tell you uh, which generation are your father. Your we don't have it because I don't know where I am. I am from, but I am from here. It's the best thing. I think it's a good country. I don't care. <laughs> Uh, my father is from Baram. He is uh, from where? Ex expelled. Expelled. Expelled from his house when he was seven years old. Uh, at 48, by the soldiers. And my mother is from Jish. It's called Gush Khalav. It's a village behind. And then they moved to Jish. My father and his family. And he, um, he met his, my mother, a marriage, and they go to live in Tzfat, Zafat. And there uh, the Jewish people throw on them stones because they uh, make food and Sabbat, Shabbat. And then they move to Haifa, to uh, one room. And then I born in Haifa, in Vadi Nisnas. It's a very poor area. We and my four brothers and sisters, we born in one room. Somebody would say, oh, poor. No. This is the luckiest thing that I had. The, the hug of my family, the humor of my mother, the humor of my father, and the neighborhood that we, we we play without anything, I mean. We play with everything, all about imagination. And this is very important. And this is what we lose, I think, as adults. We lose the, our childhood. And then we, we can't speak to each other. But look how children behave to each other. It doesn't matter if you are Arab, Jewish, which color are you? They will play with each other with no question. And this is what we lose. And this is what I and my wife do back. We want it back. And we want the real language. We forget our real language. When we are born, we born with, I think, my idea, we born in, in one language. We can speak with each other with one language. If we lose our language like Hebrew and Arabic and English, you can connect with another one without knowing his language. So this is our language that we are ignore all the time. And I say we must to do this language because in this way we can connect each other in the, in the good emotion, really connect and not connected by like here, this tomorrow, you see that this tomorrow here, everybody? This is in English and in Hebrew. There is no Arabic. So what kind of tomorrow we speak about? <laughs> this for me is yesterday, okay? <laughs> I look for tomorrow really and what, what we do, I do a show, I direct a show and write it in Aramaic language, what Jesus speak and uh, Abraham speak. And uh, uh, why I do it? Because uh, I want to put uh, the both audience, children audience, Arab and Jews together, but see art, okay? And I start to really think, how can I put them together? Because everybody, different language. And then I create the Aramaic language is similar to the Arabic and Hebrew. So the children, they recognize some words, the Arab and the Jews. But it's not mean a lot for me because language is not important for me. Uh, what is very important was the, the, the movement and how they uh, pass to you what they want to say without saying the word. And this is what we did in uh, Elmina Theater. 
is a mina for, for um, uh, children. And uh, also in, in this show, when I did this show here in Israel, they don't buy it from me because they say it's too clever for our children. <laughs> so then I perform in Uzbekistan, Armenia, Barcelona, South Korea, uh, Germany, Japan, Austria, Australia, <laughs> Geneva. So it's about thinking. How can you think that our children are not smart? Who are you to think that they are not smart? In Uzbekistan, they smart more than us? No, I don't think so. Everybody, every child has his smart and his imagination. And really, if you, if you get to in a child mind, you will feel very, very good. And that's what we miss all the time. About Arab labor. <laughs> Uh, this is a very good example for Arab labor that uh, why people see it so much, why Arab and Jews uh, saw this TV show. Because it's, it's started from fear from each other. All the time we are afraid from each other. We are afraid to know, we are afraid to speak, we are afraid to be close, we are afraid to know who is this guy. And uh, in Arab labor, suddenly uh, something very open. They speak about Arab, they speak about Jew. So they say, it's okay. It's very uh, uh, open mind. It's, uh, yeah, it's not so afraid. The Arab, they are not so afraid. And in the beginning, um, the producers say that we must put 30% Arabic speaking and 70% Hebrew speaking. This is the first season that we did. Because they don't know how the Jewish people, the Israeli people, will react about hearing Arabic language in prime time. My God. <laughs> so dangerous. From the television, you will hear Arabic. We used to hear uh, uh, a news in 5 o'clock, 5.30, and the film, Arabic film. That's all. That's, the whole. <laughs> That's all. And then you have uh, Arabic language in prime time. And we pass it uh, successful. The people love it so much. And then in, uh, uh, the Arab people, the Arab citizen, um, um, stand against this uh, show. They don't like it. How we make the Arabs like this, and they, they start to shout me on the, on the street shout on me. And in the next season, uh, the producers say, OK, we have to make a uh, seker. Survey. Survey? Survey. Survey. Uh, and they did it, uh, and they find that uh, most of the Arab, most than the, more than the Jew, see this uh, show. Yes. And now, yeah, yeah, yeah. And now, in the third season, um, there is a lot of people here in living in, in Israel. They see this uh, serial, and we shoot the fourth season now. And Said Kashua uh, write the fifth season in these days. Thank you. We can see uh, a little bit from uh, the third season. It's not me. Yeah, it's me. But it's Uh, we can say, start again, please, uh, because there is no uh, sound and I can't make the lip sync. <laughs> I'm sorry. The dubbing, do the dubbing. I can make, you know, it's about sport, yeah? It's, <laughs> it's the sports element. Also. You see, yesterday and the birthday, and the Perez birthday also, they put in Arabic salam, it means peace. But it's written. We get wrong. along just great. Okay, wait a minute. Wait, wait. The peace in Arabic, written wrong. Spelled wrong. So we speak about peace. Thank you. Maybe it was peace. 
be okay. Okay, okay, wait, but... <laughs> this is the good thing that's happened, you know? Very relaxing. That's me. And but I can I'm very much like them. Oh, almost, almost like them. Well, these guys, they... <coughs> We get along just great. Total paradise. You need to know how to behave. To give the neighbors a feeling of security. To create the impression that we are very much like them. Or oh, almost, almost like them. And then everything, it will be okay. Okay, okay, wait, but what you're saying is you don't experience any kind of racism in this building? No, the opposite, the opposite. I am the favorite neighbor here. <laughs> She's a little bit extreme. To, uh, I see. So, uh, <clears throat> as a Palestinian living in a Jewish neighborhood, you don't feel any discomfort, insecurity? <laughs> Look, since, since when I was in the show, uh, the Big Brother, you know Big Brother, uh, <laughs> thank you, thank you very much. Uh, uh, they behave to me as a star. <sighs> yeah, I see. Well, um, right. <laughs> well, that could be um, a bit problematic. Emily. What, 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 what's the problem? <laughs> We're doing a piece on a Palestinian living in Israel. Hmm? How they cope with the everyday hardships of their lives and how they deal with racism. And you're telling me you don't experience any... Wait, no, no, wait, 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 wait. I don't say that everything is okay. <laughs> there, there is in the, in the Arab village, uh, there is uh, the... Uh, bad, uh, bad, uh, bad, uh, uh, sewage. Sewage. Yes, but you're saying you don't feel any hostility. Hostility? Hostility? Hostility, dear Richard, do you want to know and hear about hostility? <laughs> you know what a nightmare to be an Arab to go to, to buy a cookies? No, go on. It's an experience that reminds you that whatever you go, whatever you do, however you behave, you will always be different. Always rejected. You always be Treated like an Arab. Yeah. Yes. These cookies. Absolutely. Divine. Totally. Hey, Zayo.